Louisiana Tech University, colloquially referred to as Louisiana Tech or La Tech, is a public research university in Ruston, Louisiana. It is a space grant college, member of the Southeastern Universities Research Association, member of the Association of Public and Land Grant Universities, and classified as an R3 doctoral university with moderate research activity. It is a member of the University of Louisiana System. Louisiana Tech conducts research with ongoing projects funded by agencies such as National Aeronautics and Space Administration (NASA), the National Institutes of Health (NIH), the National Science Foundation (NSF), the Department of Defense (DoD), and the Federal Aviation Administration (FAA). Louisiana Tech is one of fewer than 50 comprehensive research universities in the nation and the only university in Louisiana to be designated as a National Center of Academic Excellence in Information Assurance Education and Research and a National Center of Academic Excellence in Cyber Defense Education and Research by the National Security Agency and the United States Department of Homeland Security Also, the FAA named Louisiana Tech to the National Center of Excellence for Unmanned Aircraft Systems. The university is known for its engineering and science programs. Louisiana Tech opened as the Industrial Institute and College of Louisiana in 1894 during the Second Industrial Revolution. The original mission of the college was for the education of students in the arts and sciences for the purpose of developing an industrial economy in post-Reconstruction Louisiana. Four years later in 1898, the state constitution changed the school's name to Louisiana Industrial Institute. In 1921, the college changed its name to Louisiana Polytechnic Institute to reflect its development as a larger institute of technology. Under the leadership of Dr. F. J. Taylor, the college continued to grow and change over time. Louisiana Polytechnic Institute became desegregated in the 1960s. It officially changed its name to Louisiana Tech University in 1970 as it satisfied criteria of a research university. Louisiana Tech enrolled 12,873 students in five academic colleges during the fall 2017 academic quarter including 1,519 students in the graduate school. In addition to the main campus in Ruston, Louisiana Tech holds classes at the Louisiana Tech University Shreveport Center, Cyber Innovation Center in Bossier City, Barksdale Air Force Base, and on the CenturyLink campus in Monroe. Louisiana Tech fields 16 varsity NCAA Division I sports teams, seven men's, nine women's teams, and is a member of Conference USA of the Football Bowl Subdivision. The university is known for its Bulldogs football team and Lady Texters women's basketball program which won three national championship titles 1981, 1982, 1988, and made 13 Final Four appearances in the program's history. History Early years Ruston College, a forerunner to Louisiana Tech, was established in the middle 1880s by W. C. Friley, a Southern Baptist pastor. This institution lasted for seven years and had annual enrollments of about 250 students. Friley subsequently from 1892 to 1894 served as the first president of Hardin-Simmons University in Abilene, Texas, and from 1909 to 1910, as the second president of Louisiana College in Pineville. On May 14, 1894, the Lincoln Parish Police Jury held a special session to outline plans to secure a regional industrial school. 
The police jury, a body similar to a county court or county commission in other states, called upon state representative George M. Lomax to introduce the proposed legislation during the upcoming session. Representative Lomax, Jackson Parish Representative J.T.M. Hancock, and journalist, lawyer, and future judge John B. Holstead fought for the passage of the bill. On July 6, 1894, the proposed bill was approved as Act No. 68 of the General Assembly of Louisiana. The Act established, "...the Industrial Institute and College of Louisiana." an industrial institute created for the education of white children in the arts and sciences in 1894 colonel arthur t prescott was elected as the first president of the college he moved to ruston and began overseeing the construction of a two story main building the brick building housed eight large classrooms an auditorium a chemical laboratory and two offices a frame building was also built nearby and was used for the instruction of mechanics. The main building was located on a plot of 20 acres square meters that was donated to the school by Francis P. Stubbs. On September 23, 1895, the school started its first session with six faculty members and 202 students. In May 1897, Harry Howard became the first graduate. Colonel Prescott awarded him with a Bachelor of Industry degree, but there was no formal commencement. The first formal commencement was held in the Ruston Opera House the following May with ten graduates receiving their diplomas. Article 256 of the 1898 State Constitution changed the school's name to Louisiana Industrial Institute. Two years later, the course of study was reorganized into two years of preparatory work and three years of college-level courses. Students who were high school graduates were admitted to the seventh quarter college level of study without examination. As years went by, courses changed and admissions requirements tightened. From 1917 to 1925, several curricula were organized according to the junior college standards and were offered leading to the Bachelor of Industry degree. In 1919, the Board of Trustees enlarged the curricula and started granting a standard baccalaureate degree. The first of these was granted on June 15, 1921, a Bachelor of Science in Engineering. The Constitution adopted June 18, 1921, changed the name of the school in Article 12, Section 9, from Louisiana Industrial Institute to Louisiana Polytechnic Institute. Topic expansion The main building, also known as Old Main, burned to the ground in 1936, but the columns that marked the entrance remain in place behind Prescott Memorial Library. By June 1936, construction on a new administration building had begun. On completion in January 1937, it was named Lecce Hall in honor of then-Governor Richard W. Lecce of New Orleans. The building was renamed after the death of former university president, J. E. Keeney, and remains the remodeled Keeney Hall. Louisiana Polytechnic Institute experienced an infrastructure growth spurt in 1939 and 1940. Seven buildings were designed by architect Edward F. Neald and completed at a cost of $2,054,270. These were Aswell Hall, girls' dormitory, Robinson Hall, men's dormitory for juniors and seniors, Tolliver Hall, 880-seat dining hall, Bogard Hall, the engineering building, the S.J. Wages Power Plant, Reese Agricultural Hall, located on the South Campus Tech Farm, and the Howard Auditorium and Fine Arts Building. During World War II, Louisiana Polytechnic Institute was one of 131 colleges and universities nationally that took part in the V 12 Navy College Training Program, which offered students a path to a Navy commission. In 1959, four students were awarded the first master's degrees by the institution. Topic 
Topic: University era. In 1962, Foster J. Taylor became the 12th president of the Louisiana Polytechnic Institute, having succeeded Ralph L. Ropp. During his 25 years at president, Dr. Taylor oversaw the transformation of the former Louisiana Polytechnic Institute into Louisiana Tech University. The university's enrollment grew from about 3,000 students in 1962 to roughly 12,000 students in 1987. Most of the modern buildings on the main campus were either built or renovated during Taylor's tenure as university president. The main athletic facilities were constructed during the Taylor era including Joe Aylett Stadium, the Thomas Assembly Center, J.C. Love Field, and the Lady Texter Softball Complex. In addition to the athletic facilities, the 16-story Wiley Tower, Student Bookstore, Nethkin Hall, Electrical Engineering Building, the University President's House, and the current College of Business Building were built on the main campus. In order to house the increasing student body of Louisiana Tech, Dr. Taylor led the construction of Graham, Harper, Kidd, Carruthers, and Nielsen Residence Halls. Taylor's time as Louisiana Tech president also marked the beginning of Lady Texter Athletics. In 1974, Taylor established the Lady Texter's women's basketball program with a $5,000 appropriation. He hired Sonia Hogg, a 28-year-old P instructor at Ruston High School, as the Lady Texter's first head coach. Under Coach Hogg and her successor Leon Barmore, the Lady Texters won three national championships during the 1980s. In 1980, Dr. Taylor founded the Lady Texter softball team with Barry Canterbury serving as the team's first head coach. The team made seven straight teams to the NCAA softball tournament and three trips to the Women's College World Series during the 1980s. The first doctorate was awarded in 1971, a Ph.D. in chemical engineering. In 1992, Louisiana Tech became a «selective admissions» university. This university has increased their admissions criteria four times since 2000 by raising the minimum overall grade point average, composite ACT score, and class ranking. Louisiana Tech has earned recognition from the Louisiana Board of Regents for its graduation rate and retention rate. According to a report of the Louisiana Board of Regents published in December 2011, Louisiana Tech has the second highest graduation rate among the 14 public universities in the state of Louisiana. The 53.3% six-year graduation rate is the highest in the University of Louisiana system. Louisiana Tech has a 78.64% retention rate among incoming freshmen who stay with the same school after the first year, the top rate in the University of Louisiana system. The average time to degree ratio for Tech's graduates is 4.7 years, the fastest in the UL system. Louisiana Tech became the first in the world to confer a Bachelor of Science degree in nanosystems engineering when Josh Brown earned his degree in May 2007. Continuing its mission as an engineering pioneer, Louisiana Tech also launched the nation's first cyber engineering BS degree in 2012. As of May 2017, Louisiana Tech has awarded more than 100,900 degrees. Topic: Campus. The campus of Louisiana Tech University is located in Ruston, Louisiana. The major roads that border or intersect the Tech campus are Tech Drive, California Avenue, Alabama Avenue, and Railroad Avenue. Interstate 20 and U.S. Highways 80 and 167 are located within 1 mile of the main campus. In addition, a set of railroad tracks operated by Kansas City Southern Railway bisects the campus near Railroad Avenue. 
the portion of the main campus located west of Tech Drive and north of the railroad include all of the university's major athletic facilities except for J.C. Love Field. The land east of Tech Drive and north of the railroad include the Lambright Intramural Center, J.C. Love Field, and the University Park Apartments. Most of the older residence halls are located near California Avenue and along Tech Drive south of the railroad tracks. The older part of the main campus is located south of Railroad Avenue. The Enterprise Campus is located on a 50-acre plot of land east of Homer Street and bordering the oldest part of the main campus. In addition to the main campus, Louisiana Tech also has 474 acres (1.92 square kilometers) of land located on the south campus, 167 acres (0.68 square kilometers) of farmland west of the main campus, 603 acres (2.44 square kilometers) of forest land in Wynn, Natchitoches, and Union parishes, 30 acres (120,000). Square meters of land in Shreveport, a 44-acre (180,000 square meters) golf course in Lincoln Parish, 14 acres (57,000 square meters) of land for an arboretum west of the main campus, and a flight operations center at Ruston Regional Airport. Topic: <laughs> Main Campus. The main campus at Louisiana Tech University originated in 1894 as a 20-acre plot of land with only two buildings, the old main building and a frame building nearby used by the Department of Mechanics the forerunner of the College of Engineering and Science. Today, the main campus is housed on 280 acres (1.1 square kilometers) of land with 86 buildings including 22 apartment buildings for the University Park apartments on the north part of the campus. Many of the buildings, especially the older buildings on the main campus are built in the colonial revival style. Bogard Hall, Howard Auditorium, Keeney Hall, University Hall formerly the original Prescott Library, Reese Hall, Robinson Hall, and Tolliver Hall are all included on the National Register of Historical Places. The oldest existing building on Louisiana Tech's campus is the Rop Center. The Italian-style, wood frame house was constructed in 1911 and is named after Ralph L. Ropp, Louisiana Tech's president from 1949 to 1962. The Ropp Center served as the home of seven Louisiana Tech presidents until a new president's house was built in 1972 on the west side of Tech's campus. The Ropp Center was used by the College of Home Economics for 13 years until the Office of Special Programs moved into the building in 1985. In 2002, a $1 million renovation was completed to transform the Ropp Center into a faculty and staff club that is used for special events and housing for on-campus guests. The quadrangle the quad is the focal point of the oldest part of the main campus. The quad is considered to be one of the most peaceful and beautiful locations at Louisiana Tech. Large oak trees and park benches all around the quad provide students and visitors a quiet place to study and relax. At the center of the quad is the Lady of the Mist Sculpture and Fountain, a landmark for students and alumni alike. The buildings surrounding the quad are Keeney Hall, Howard Auditorium, the Student Center, the Bookstore, the Wiley Tower of Learning, the current Prescott Memorial Library, and the original Prescott Library now known as University Hall. Another popular location on the main campus is Centennial Plaza. In 1994 Centennial Plaza was constructed to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Louisiana Tech's founding. The plaza was funded by a student self-assessed fee and designed specifically for the use and enjoyment of the student body. 
Centennial Plaza is used for special events throughout the year, such as Christmas in the Plaza, movie events, and student organizational fairs. Centennial Plaza is one of the main gathering points of the students due to the plaza's close proximity to the on-campus restaurants, coffee shops, dining halls, university post office, and offices for Student Life, SGA, and Union Board. At the center of the plaza is the clock tower which has the sound and digital capabilities to play the alma mater, fight song, and any other songs and calls as needed. The alumni brick walkway runs through Centennial Plaza and around the clock tower. A large Louisiana Tech seal marks the middle of Centennial Plaza just west of the clock tower. Centennial Plaza is enclosed by Tolliver Hall, the Student Center, Howard Auditorium, and Harper Residence Hall. Louisiana Tech has two main dining halls on Wisteria Drive on the west end of Centennial Plaza. The first dining hall is the Student Center which is home to the cafeteria, a smaller dining hall for eating and socializing, the La Tech Café, several small restaurants including Chick-fil-A, and the Tonk. The Student Center is also home to the Senate Innovation Lab, several large study areas, and a conference room. One of the three bronze bulldog statues is located on the first floor of the student center near the entrance of the Tonk. Students pet the bulldog statue for good luck as they walk by the statue. The second student center on the Tech campus is Tolliver Hall. Tolliver Hall, named after Tech's first full-time dietitian Irene Tolliver, is located at the west end of Centennial Plaza near the Wisteria Student Center. This two-story building was built in the 1920s as one of three dining halls at Louisiana Tech. The eating area in the second floor remained open until it was shut down in the 1980s. In 2003, nearly $3 million was spent to renovate Tolliver Hall into a modern cyber student center. The second floor now houses a cyber cafe which includes computer stations, a McAllister's Deli restaurant, several smaller restaurants, a large dining area with big screen televisions, and smaller tables surrounding the floor for dining and studying. The offices of the Louisiana Tech Student Government Association, Union Board, the International Student Office, and Multicultural Affairs are also housed on the second floor. The first floor is used as the post office for tech students, faculty, and administration officials. In the past decade, Louisiana Tech built new buildings and renovated some of the main campus older buildings. The university erected Davison Hall, home of the university's professional aviation program, the micromanufacturing building, and the biomedical engineering building on the south end of the main campus along Hergett Avenue. Tech tore down the old Hale Hall and constructed a brand new Hale Hall in the style and design of the predecessor in 2004. On the eastern edge of the campus, the university renovated the building now known as University Hall, redesigned the bookstore interior, and made needed repairs to Keeney Hall and Howard Auditorium. All of the major athletics facilities on the north part of the main campus have received major upgrades and renovations in the past five years. Construction started in early 2011 on a new College of Business building. The 42,000 square foot 3,900 square meters facility serves as the centerpiece of the entrepreneurship and business programs of the College of Business. The building features new classrooms, two auditoriums, computer labs, research centers, meeting rooms, and career and student support centers. Louisiana Tech has announced plans to construct a new 60,000 square foot 5,600 square meters College of Engineering and Science building adjacent to Bogard Hall. The campus also hosts the Idea Place, a science museum, A.E. Phillips Lab School, a K-8 school which is recognized as a five-star school 
by the Louisiana Department of Education, and the Joe D. Wagoner Center for Bipartisan Politics and Public Policy. South Campus South Campus is located southwest of the main campus in Ruston and covers nearly 900 acres 364 hectares. It is home to the School of Agricultural Science and Forestry, Center for Rural Development, Equine Center, John D. Griffin Horticultural Garden, and Tech Farm. The Tech Farm salesroom markets dairy, meat, and plant products produced and processed by Tech Farm to the public. Students enrolled in agriculture or forestry programs attend classes in Reese Hall, the Agricultural Laboratory, and in Lomax Hall, the Forestry and Plant Science Complex which is home to the Louisiana Tech Greenhouses, Horticultural Conservatory, and the Spatial Data Laboratory. Topic Enterprise Campus In fall quarter 2009, the university broke ground on the new Enterprise Campus which will expand the campus by 50 acres 20 hectares upon completion. The Enterprise Campus will be a green building project and will be a research facility available to technology companies and businesses. The Enterprise Campus will also try to bridge the engineering and business colleges with the addition of the Entrepreneurship and Innovation Center (EIC). In 2010, Louisiana Tech finished the renovations of the old Visual Arts Building by transforming that building into the new Entrepreneurship and Innovation (ENI) Center. The E&I Center will serve as the central hub for the Center for Entrepreneurship and Information Technologies Senate programs and is located between the College of Business Building and Bogard Hall Co's. .Louisiana Tech broke ground on Tech Point, the first building on the Enterprise Campus, in 2010. Tech Point will house the Cyberspace Research Laboratory as well as high-tech companies and start-up technology companies. The 42,000 square foot (3,900 square meters) facility will include access to the Louisiana Optical Network Initiative (LONI), fiber optic and internet networks, advanced computing capabilities, and other information technology supports needed to meet the demands of 24/7 high-tech companies and specialized cyber security research. Tech Point is scheduled for completion sometime in 2011. The university recently unveiled plans to build a new College of Engineering and Science building. The three-story, 127,000-square-foot building will provide new active learning class labs, engineering shops, and meeting rooms for classes in math, science, and engineering. The new COES building will provide new learning space for the university's first-year and second-year engineering and science students for the first time since the completion of Bogard Hall in 1940. Upon completion of the new College of Engineering and Science building, Louisiana Tech plans to renovate and improve Bogard Hall. Barksdale Campus Since September 1965, Louisiana Tech has offered on-base degree programs through its satellite campus at Barksdale Air Force Base in Bossier City, Louisiana. The university works in conjunction with the Department of the Air Force to provide post-secondary education programs that are designed to meet the needs of Air Force personnel. While the primary focus of the Barksdale campus is to educate Air Force personnel, civilians are permitted to take part in the classes offered at the Barksdale campus if space is available. All courses offered at Tech Barksdale are taught on base or online. The administrative offices for the Louisiana Tech Barksdale Air Force program are located in the Base Education Center. Topic: Academics. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Student Body. As of the fall 2017 quarter, Louisiana Tech had an all-time record high enrollment of 12,873 students pursuing degrees in five academic colleges. The student body has members from every Louisiana parish, 47 U.S. states, and 64 foreign countries. Louisiana residents account for 85.0% of the student population, while out-of-state students and international students account for 11.1% and 4.0% of the student body, respectively. The student body at Louisiana Tech is 69.4% white, 13.3% black, 3.8% international students, and 13.5% other or unknown ethnicity. The student body consists of 50.2% women and 49.8% men. The fall 2016 incoming freshman class at Louisiana Tech consisted of 2,018 students. This incoming freshman class had an average 24.7 ACT score, with 31% scoring between 27 to 36 and 45% scoring between 22 to 26. Of the 2015 freshman class, 83.0% are Louisiana residents, 16.3% are out-of-state students, and 0.7% are international students. Louisiana Tech's 2015 freshman class includes 10 National Merit Scholars and one National Achievement Scholar. As of fall 2015, the College of Engineering and Science had the largest enrollment of any college at Louisiana Tech with 22.9% of the student body. The College of Education, College of Liberal Arts, the College of Applied and Natural Sciences, and the College of Business had 18.4%, 14.0%, 13.1%, and 9.5%, respectively. About 22.2% of the student body were enrolled in basic and career studies. Rankings In the 2019 U.S. News & World Report ranking of public universities, Louisiana Tech is ranked in Tier 2 of national universities. Forbes 2017 edition of America's Top Colleges ranked Louisiana Tech as the 130 road best public college in the nation, the 169th best research university in the nation, the 397th best college overall, and the 87th best college in the South. According to Washington Monthly's 2017 National Universities Rankings, which consider research, community service, social mobility, and net price of attendance, Louisiana Tech ranked 204th nationally. The Business Journal's 2017 rankings of U.S. public colleges, which identify the public universities and colleges that offer the best educational experiences to their students, ranked Louisiana Tech the 138th best public university in the nation and second best in Louisiana. In 2017, Louisiana Tech was ranked 183rd in the nation and 662nd in the world by the Center for World University Rankings. In 2016, Times Higher Education World University Rankings named Louisiana Tech one of 20 universities in the world that are rising stars and could challenge the elites to become globally renowned by the year 2030. Money Magazine named Louisiana Tech the best college in Louisiana in the 2016 The Best College in Every State publication. In addition, Louisiana Tech ranked 235th in Money's Best Colleges, which ranked schools based on value by assessing educational quality, affordability, and alumni success. Forbes 2018 edition of America's Best Value Colleges ranked Louisiana Tech as the 148th best overall value for all American colleges and universities. 
In the 2018 Kiplinger's Personal Finance Best College Values Rankings, Louisiana Tech ranked number one for all Louisiana public colleges, 65th of all public colleges in the nation, and 189th of all public and private colleges in the United States. In the 2016 U.S. News & World Report Best Colleges Rankings, Louisiana Tech ranked number one among public national universities and sixth among all national universities for graduating students with the least amount of debt. Louisiana Tech ranked sixth in Business Insider's 2015 Most Underrated Colleges in America Rankings. According to the 2015-2016 Payscale College Salary Report Salary Potential for All Alumni, Louisiana Tech ranks first among all public and private institutions in Louisiana, 60th nationally among public schools, 84th nationally among research universities, and 184th nationally among all universities and colleges. In the 2018 U.S. News & World Report Best Colleges Rankings, Louisiana Tech's undergraduate engineering program ranked 137th in the nation, and Tech's undergraduate business program ranked 249th. In the 2019 U.S. News & World Report Best Grad Schools Rankings, Louisiana Tech ranked 145th in Engineering, 141st in Speech-Language Pathology, and 185th in Education. According to the Association for University Technology Managers, Louisiana Tech is ranked as the nation's second best academic institution for innovation productivity as measured by number of new inventions generated per research dollar expended. Topic colleges The university confers associates, bachelor's and master's degrees through its five academic colleges. Additionally, Louisiana Tech offers doctoral degrees in audiology, business administration, counseling psychology accredited by the American Psychological Association, industrial, organizational psychology, computational analysis and modeling, engineering, and biomedical engineering, with a joint MD-PhD program with the Louisiana State University Health Sciences Center Shreveport. College of Applied and Natural Sciences The College of Applied and Natural Sciences is made up of the School of Agricultural Sciences and Forestry, School of Biological Sciences, Department of Health Informatics and Information Management, School of Human Ecology, and Division of Nursing. College of Business The College of Business is divided into the departments of Accounting, Economics and Finance, Graduate Studies and Research, Management and Information Systems, and Marketing and Analysis. Louisiana Tech College of Business also houses Academy of Marketing Science. Academy of Marketing Science is the premier body of both national and international marketing scholars. Academy of Marketing Science publishes the top marketing journal the Journal of Academy of Marketing Science. College of Business has one of the strongest professional selling and sales management scholarship. In 2009, Louisiana Tech launched their Executive Master of Business Administration EMBA program designed specifically for executives and managers. The curriculum of the EMBA program places an emphasis on strategic thinking, leadership skills, and management decision-making. The 30-credit hour, 10-course program is taught at the Technology Transfer Center in Shreveport and the CenturyLink headquarters in Monroe. The Shreveport EMBA program hosted their first EMBA class in January 2009, and the second group of EMBA students started their studies at Shreveport in 2011. The Monroe EMBA program held their first EMBA class in January 2010 in conjunction with the University of Louisiana at Monroe's College of Business, and their second group of EMBA students are scheduled in start their classes in 2012. College of Education The College of Education traces its mission back to the origins of Louisiana Tech in 1894, where the preparation of teachers was one of the early missions of the institution. In 1970, the School of Education was elevated to the level of college. 
Today, the College of Education consists of three separate departments, the Department of Curriculum, Instruction, and Leadership, the Department of Kinesiology, and the Department of Psychology and Behavioral Sciences. Together, the three academic departments award 35 different academic degrees ranging from the baccalaureate to the doctoral levels. Notable subdivisions of the College of Education include A.E. Phillips Laboratory School, the Science and Technology Education Center, the NASA Educator Resource Center, the Idea Place, and the Professional Development and Research Institute on Blindness. College of Engineering and Science The College of Engineering and Science is the engineering school at Louisiana Tech University. The COS offers 13 undergraduate degrees including 7 engineering degrees, 2 engineering technology degrees, and 4 science degrees. The college also offers 7 Master of Science degrees and 4 doctorate degrees. The college started as the Department of Mechanics in 1894 with a two-year program in Mechanic Arts. Since its founding, the college expanded its degree program to include chemical engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering, industrial engineering, and mechanical engineering. The COS began offering one of the first biomedical engineering curriculum programs in the United States in 1972 and the first nanosystems engineering BS degree in 2005. Louisiana Tech launched the nation's first cyber engineering BS degree in 2012. Bogard Hall is the second and current home of the College of Engineering and Science. Louisiana Tech constructed the building in 1940 and named it after Frank Bogard, the former Dean of Engineering at Louisiana Tech. The college also utilizes Nethkin Hall, the Biomedical Engineering Building, the Institute for Micromanufacturing, and parts of Carson Taylor Hall for the college's activities. In early 2011, Louisiana Tech announced plans to construct a new integrated engineering and science building adjacent to Bogard Hall. The 60,000 square foot 5,600 square meters building will provide new classrooms, shops, and meeting rooms for engineering, science, and math students at Louisiana Tech. When the new engineering building is complete, the university will begin renovations of Bogard Hall. College of Liberal Arts the College of Liberal Arts consists of nine academic departments, architecture, art, history, journalism, literature and language, performing arts, professional aviation, social science, and speech. The college offers 26 degree programs, including 19 bachelors, 6 masters, and the doctorate degree in audiology. The College of Liberal Arts hosts the Louisiana Tech University Honors Program. Tech's Air Force Reserve Officer Training Corps ROTC Detachment 305 is also part of the College of Liberal Arts. Topic Interdisciplinary Centers Center for Entrepreneurship and Information Technology Senate In 2001, Louisiana Tech proposed the creation of the Center for Entrepreneurship and Information Technology Senate, a collaboration between the College of Engineering and Science and the College of Business the Senate focuses the resources of the two colleges and their related centers in promoting entrepreneurial research, technology transfer, and education. The Senate was approved in 2002 by the University of Louisiana System Board of Supervisors and the Louisiana Board of Regents. As of 2011, the Senate is housed in the 3,000 square foot 280 square meters Senate Innovation Lab on the main floor of the Student Center next to the Quad. The Center will move to the newly renovated University Hall building located next to the College of Business sometime in 2011. The Top Dog Competition was created in 2002 by the Association of Business, Engineering, and Science Entrepreneurs, now known as Bulldog Entrepreneurs. 
The annual competition is hosted by Bulldog Entrepreneurs and in conjunction with the Senate, COES, College of Business, and the Technology Business Development Center The competition started as the Top Dog Business Plan Competition in 2002 and expanded six years later to include the Idea Pitch Competition. Participants in the Top Dog Competition create teams to develop innovative ideas into real businesses and showcase intellectual properties developed by Louisiana Tech researchers and students. The teams must foster an idea, create a business plan, and compete for cash prizes and resources needed to further develop the team's concept. The total amount of money awarded during each competition to the competing teams has grown since 2002 to $14,500 for the 2011 competition. In addition to prize money from the Coase and College of Business, additional prize money is awarded by Jones Walker, Louisiana Tech's Innovation Enterprise Fund, and the Ruston Lincoln Parish Chamber of Commerce. Continuing education and distance learning Global underscore campus Louisiana Tech established the Global Underscore Campus on September 16, 2008. The campus offers a variety of degree programs, certificate programs, and general education courses. Global Underscore Campus focuses on providing more flexibility and choices to Tech's traditional students and complete online education services to non-traditional students, such as military, international, and dual enrollment students. As of 2011, Global Underscore Campus offers over 275 distance learning courses while more courses are in development. Louisiana Tech has six master's degree programs, two bachelor's degree programs, and one associate degree program available via distance learning. In addition to the nine degree programs, Global Underscore Campus offers eight professional development programs. CenturyLink at La Tech In the fall of 2011, Louisiana Tech and CenturyLink created a partnership called CenturyLink at La Tech to meet the workforce development and training needs of CenturyLink. It is designed for CenturyLink employees with general responsibilities and interests in telecommunications engineering, information technology or information systems. CenturyLink at LaTeX offers a communications systems graduate certificate. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Student life. Activities Louisiana Tech has over 163 officially recognized student organizations. Students can opt to participate in Student Government, Union Board, The Tech Talk, Tech TV, Lanyap, Greek, Religious, Honor, Service, Spirit, Intramurals, Club Sports, Pre-Professional, and Special Interest Organizations. The Louisiana Tech University Union Board organizes entertainment activities for Louisiana Tech students throughout the entire school year. About 80 students participate in Union Board each academic school year. The Union Board receives an annual budget of about $210,000 in student assessment fees and uses the money to organize and produce the annual Fall Fling, Talent Show, Spring Fling, Tech the Halls, the Miss Tech Pageant, Las Vegas Casino Night, and other special events. The Student Government Association (SGA) is the official governing body of the Louisiana Tech University Student Association, the student body, and can consists of three branches, the Student Senate, Executive Branch, and the Supreme Court. 
the organization is responsible for the Welcome Week, Dog Hall activities, Homecoming Week, the big event, short-term student loans, voter registration drives for the student body, and other various activities throughout the year. Louisiana Tech and neighboring Grambling State University operate an ROTC exchange program. Louisiana Tech operates the Air Force ROTC while Grambling operates the Army ROTC, and students from either school may participate in either program. Since 2006, Louisiana Tech has played host to Summer Leadership School for Air Force Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps cadets from public school systems all over the United States. It is operated by normal USAF retirees, but mostly by college-level cadet training officers. These sessions are held towards the end of the month of June for nine days. Media The Tech Talk is Louisiana Tech's official student newspaper since 1926. The Tech Talk is published every Thursday of the regular school year, except for finals week and vacation periods. The award-winning newspaper has been honored in the past few years by the Southeast Journalism Conference (SEJC), Louisiana Press Women, National Federation of Press Women, Louisiana Press Association, and the Society of Professional Journalists. The Tech Talk was named the 10th best newspaper in the South in 2010 and the 3rd best newspaper in the South in 2011 by the Southeast Journalism Conference. Speak Magazine is Louisiana Tech's student magazine. It has been published quarterly since 2014. The Lanyap is Tech's yearbook. The Lanyap, which literally means something extra was first published in 1905 and has been published every year since except for 1906, 1913–1921, 1926, and 1944–1945. The yearbook's annual release date is around the last week of the regular school year in the middle of May. The Lanyap was recognized in May 2011 as, first class by the Associated Collegiate Press and as one of the top 2% of high school and collegiate yearbooks by Balfour Publishing's The Yearbook's Yearbook. Mary May Brown, the recently retired faculty advisor of the Lanyard for 23 years was named the Collegiate Publications Advisor of the Year by the Louisiana Press Women in 2011. Louisiana Tech's local radio station is KLPI. The radio station was founded as WLPIAM in 1966 and originally housed in a rented office on Railroad Avenue in downtown Ruston. By 1974, construction was completed on KLPI-FM, and the radio station began broadcasting at 10 watts. Afterward, WLPIAM was shut down due to maintenance problems with the station's equipment. Today, KLPI transmits at 4,000 watts of power and is located at the southeast corner of the Student Center at the heart of the Tech Campus. Louisiana Tech TV is the official student run television station at Louisiana Tech since its launch in 2000. Tech TV shows newly released movies, Tech TV news, personal news clips by the general student body, original programming like Tech Cribs, Tech Play, and informational slides for upcoming campus events. Residential life A building program is underway to move from traditional dormitories to apartment-style complexes. The first of these, University Park, opened in 2004 and houses up to 450 students. The second phase, known as University Park 2 UP2, opened in 2008. The third phase, Park Place, opened in 2009. While the university is constructing new apartment-style student housing complexes, Louisiana Tech is moving to demolish some of the traditional dormitories. 
The Kidd Residence Hall on the southern part of the Tech campus was demolished in 2004. The university also demolished the Carruthers and Nielsen residence halls on the north side of the campus. The planned demolition of Carruthers Hall was postponed in 2005 to allow 300 evacuees from Hurricane Katrina to stay in the dorm for three months. Topic Greek life Louisiana Tech has 21 nationally recognized Greek organizations. Each fraternity and sorority on the Tech campus promotes community services, philanthropy, and university involvement through each organization's own locally and or nationally designated service project. The local Kappa Delta sorority raised over $10,000 this year from their annual Shamrock 5K and One Mile Run to benefit the Methodist Children's Home of Ruston. Since 2002, the Phi Mu sorority has held a golf tournament to benefit the Children's Miracle Network. The Phi Mu Golf Tournament raised $7,000 in 2007 and $10,000 in 2009. Sigma Kappa has held the Kick and Grass Kickball Tournament to benefit the Alzheimer's Research Foundation since 2009 and raised $2,300 during the third annual tournament in 2011. The Greek organizations also participate in other university activities, including the Big Event, Homecoming Week activities, the Homecoming Step Show, and Bulldog Football tailgating at Hyder Way Park near Joe Aylett Stadium. The fraternities and sororities participate in Greek Week each year during the spring quarter. Louisiana Tech's Greek fraternities and sororities are governed by three governing boards. The Interfraternity Council IFC governs the ten male fraternities, Panhellenic governs the five female sororities, and the National Pan-Hellenic Council also known as the Pan governs the six multicultural sororities and fraternities. Topic: Athletics. Louisiana Tech's 16 varsity athletic teams compete in NCAA Division I sports as a member of Conference USA. The university's seven men's teams are known as the Bulldogs, and the nine women's teams are known as the Lady Texters. The teams wear the university colors of red and blue except for the women's basketball team that wears their signature Columbia blue. Football Louisiana Tech's football team played its first season in 1901 and has competed at the NCAA Division I Football Bowl Subdivision FBS level from 1975 to 1981 and 1989 to present. In its 115 years of existence, Tech's football program has won three national championships 1972 National Football Foundation Co-National Champions, 1973 Division II National Champions, 1974 UPI College Division National Champions, played in ten major college bowl games 6-3-1 overall record, and earned 25 conference titles. Its former players include 50 All-American players including Terry Bradshaw, Fred Dean, Willie Rofe, Matt Stover, Ryan Motes, Josh Scobie, Troy Edwards, Tim Ratte, Luke McCown, Tramon Williams, and Ryan Allen. The football team competes as a Division I FBS institution in Conference USA. The Bulldogs are coached by head coach Skip Holtz and play their home games at Joe Aylett Stadium on the north end of the Tech campus. <laughs> <laughs> Men's basketball The Louisiana Tech Bulldogs men's basketball program started in the 1909–10 season under head coach Percy S. Prince. The basketball team has won 25 regular season conference titles and six conference tournament championships. In addition, the Duncan Dogs have earned six NCAA tournament and nine NIT appearances. 
the Bulldog program reached the NCAA or the NIT tournaments nine straight years from 1984 to 1992. Three Bulldogs have had their numbers retired by Louisiana Tech. These are Lady Texter head coach Leon Barmore, number 12, Carl Malone, number 32, and collegiate All-American player Jackie Morland, number 42. Other notable former Bulldog players include Mike Green, Paul Millsap, Scotty Robertson, P.J. Brown, and Tim Floyd. The Bulldogs are led by head coach Eric Conkle and play their home games on Carl Malone Court at the Thomas Assembly Center. Topic women's basketball The Lady Texters women's basketball program was founded in 1974 with Sonia Hogg as its first head coach. The Lady Texters have won three national championships 1981, 1982, 1988, 20 conference titles, and 16 conference tournaments. The program has also appeared in eight AIAW, NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament Finals, 13 Final Fours, and 27 NCAA Women's Basketball Tournaments including 25 in a row from 1982 to 2006. Alumni of the program include WNBA All-Stars Teresa Weatherspoon, Betty Lennox, and Cheryl Ford in addition to Women's Basketball Hall of Fame coaches Leon Barmore, Kurt Budka, Mickey DeMoss, Sonia Hogg, and Kim Mulkey. Three former assistant coaches of the Lady Texters basketball team have won NCAA National Women's Basketball Championships as head coaches, Leon Barmore 1988 with Louisiana Tech, Kim Mulkey 2005 with Baylor, and Gary Blair 2011 with Texas A&M. The team played their home games at Memorial Gym on Louisiana Tech's campus from 1974 until 1982 when the Thomas Assembly Center was constructed. The team is coached by former Lady Texter standout Brooke Sturr and plays its home games at the Thomas Assembly Center. Traditions. Topic Lady of the Mist The Lady of the Mist is one of the most recognizable landmarks on the Louisiana Tech main campus. The granite sculpture sits in the midst of a fountain in the middle of the quadrangle the quad, one of the focal points of the university and part of the older section of the main campus. The Lady of the Mist symbolizes Alma Mater who welcomes new students and bids farewell to Tech graduates. The statue also symbolizes the hope that Louisiana Tech graduates will fulfill their ambitions and highest callings in life. The statue and fountain was funded in 1938 by the Women's Panhellenic Association of Ruston, the governing body of the university's sorority groups. The Lady of the Mist was the idea of art and architecture faculty member Mary Moffat and art department chair Elizabeth Bethia. The Lady of the Mist was created by Duncan Ferguson and Jules Strupik and specifically located in the middle of the quad facing north toward the old north entrance columns of the Tech campus. This was done to welcome everyone to the campus as people looked through the north entrance columns to see the statue's open arms waiting to greet them. The Lady fell into disrepair in the years after its construction. In 1985, the statue was restored through the efforts of the Student Government Association, Panhellenic, the Residence Hall Association, and the Association of Women Students. Today, the statue remains a focal point of students and alumni who return to the Tech campus. Incoming freshmen commemorate their new beginning by tossing a gold coin into the fountain. Topic alumni Brick Walkway The Alumni Walkway was constructed in 1995 as part of the centennial celebrations at Louisiana Tech. The brick path stretches from the corner of Adams Boulevard and Arizona Avenue through the heart of Centennial Plaza and ends at the footsteps of Tolliver Hall near Wisteria Street. 
As of May 2011, the walkway contains 72,000 engraved bricks representing all Louisiana Tech graduates from 1897 up to the year 2000. In September 2012, the class of 2001 bricks were added to the end of the walkway near Tolliver Hall. The plan is to extend the Alumni Brick Walkway through the new University Park student housing apartments that were built near J.C. Love Field in 2004-2005. Topic notable people Louisiana Tech has produced prominent businesspeople across several industries. Two Louisiana Tech alumni are currently serving as chief executive officers of Fortune 200 companies, CEO of CenturyLink Glenn Post and CEO of American Electric Power Nick Atkins. Alumnus Michael McAllister is a former CEO of Humana. Edward L. Moyers, former president and CEO of several railroads including Mid-South Rail, Illinois Central Railroad and Southern Pacific Railroad, is a Louisiana Tech graduate. Billionaire businessmen brothers Charles Wiley and Sam Wiley graduated from Louisiana Tech. Founder of Duck Commander and star of A&E's reality television series Duck Dynasty Phil Robertson earned two degrees from Louisiana Tech. Will Wright, designer of some of the best-selling video games of all time SimCity, The Sims, and Spore and co-founder of game development company Maxis, attended Louisiana Tech. Alumni of Louisiana Tech have also made their mark in the arts, entertainment, and the humanities. Country music superstars Kix Brooks and Trace Adkins are Louisiana Tech alumni along with two-time Grammy Award nominee Wayne Watson. Eddie Gosling, writer and producer for Comedy Central's Tosh.0, attended Louisiana Tech. Alumna Faith Jenkins, winner of the most scholarship money in Miss America pageant history, is the host of the Judge Faith television show, and alumna Sharon Brown is a former Miss USA. Louisiana Tech graduate Mark Swayze is known for creating comic book superheroine Mary Marvel and his work on Captain Marvel. Louisiana Tech graduates have been influential through public service and activism. Former United States Senators James P. Pope and Saxby Chambliss and United States Representatives Newt V. Mills, Joe Wagoner, Jim McCrary, and Rodney Alexander all attended Louisiana Tech. In addition, James P. Pope served as director of the Tennessee Valley Authority. Louisiana Tech alumnus Clint Williamson served as United States Ambassador at Large for War Crimes Issues. Many notable military leaders are Louisiana Tech alumni, including Lieutenant General David Wade, Lieutenant General John Spencer Hardy, Major General Susan Y. Desjardins, and Major General Jack Ramsor II. Alumna Kim Gandhi served as president of the National Organization for Women, and alumnus Jerome Ringo served as chairman of the National Wildlife Federation. Louisiana Tech athletes have starred in the National Football League, National Basketball Association, and Women's National Basketball Association as well as other professional sports. Three Bulldogs have been inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame and College Football Hall of Fame, four-time Super Bowl champion quarterback Terry Bradshaw, four-time Pro Bowl defensive end Fred Dean, and 11-time Pro Bowl offensive tackle Willie Rofe. Other notable former Bulldog football players include Leo Sanford, Roger Carr, Pat Tilley, Matt Stover, Troy Edwards, Tim Ratte, Tramon Williams, and Ryan Allen. Legendary Lady Texters coach Leon Barmore and two-time NBA Most Valuable player Carl Malone are Louisiana Tech's two inductees into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. Other notable former Bulldog basketball players include former NBA head coaches Scotty Robertson and Tim Floyd, ABBA All-Star Mike Green, NBA champion P.J. Brown, and three-time NBA All-Star Paul Millsap. The Women's Basketball Hall of Fame has inducted seven Louisiana Tech alumni including Leon Barmore, Janice Lawrence Braxton, Mickey DeMoss, Sonia Hogg, Pam Kelly, Kim Mulkey, and Teresa Weatherspoon. 
Other notable former Lady Texters include Olympic gold medalist Venus Lacey, two-time WNBA All-Star Vicki Johnson, WNBA Finals Most Valuable Player Betty Lennox, and WNBA Rookie of the Year Cheryl Ford. See also Louisiana Tech University Portal